Hey y'all, I'm Theron and just want to give you a tour of the house that I've been building for the past year in East Nashville. This is the home and it's 1,050 square feet. Uh, it's got about 600 feet of deck space and it's a pretty open concept with high ceilings and I just would love to give you a tour. I found the land for sale on Craigslist for 30 grand and it's a whole acre and the house cost is about 220,000. So at the end, uh, it's a $250,000 house, which um, for the national market is just an incredible deal. The house is elevated and going up this high allowed us to create this one car garage underneath and the rest of the space is open. And that is like the finished uh, product right there. And that's just like, could be storage space or hangout space. And just from a codes perspective, uh, the city considers that just like a normal crawl space on any house. For the uh, rail on the outside, this went with a really simple two inch square uh, steel that's just been welded up and then went with the uh, stainless steel cable system. And actually the whole thing, the stainless steel cabling is actually incredibly expensive for the whole house is about 2,500 bucks in materials, but it's, you know, it's beautiful and installs quickly. So for the deck material, I went for Garapa, which is just a really tough um, hardwood. It's similar to Ipe, but it's about as third of it is expensive. And the cool thing about this wood is it silvers over time and requires virtually no maintenance for about 20 to 25 years. And it was way more expensive than pine, but you can walk on it barefoot. And when it ages, it actually just kind of gains character versus pressure tree of pine. Um, you know, just doesn't have the, that same soul. It just starts splintering and it doesn't age as gracefully. We're at the, the front door and the other cool thing when you're building a custom home is you just get to like, choose some like the really fine details and went for an oversized door. And and from Ferguson got the uh, the Schlage uh, smart lock, which you know you can use your iPhone to unlock, but it also has the keypad. So come on in. Welcome to the house. Uh, we're in the kitchen here, and for my appliances, I went with the full KitchenAid suite from Ferguson and decided to do the induction cooktop. Uh, it heats up fast, it cools down fast, and the ultimate vision is to go solar when it finally makes sense in Tennessee. The other thing that I loved about the KitchenAid was just the price quality ratio was right, and went with the French doors just to give more space. Uh, went with the built-in wall oven, just kind of like feels very integrated and custom. Uh, the cross sink I love for the rounded corners. The Delta faucets in the kitchen and in the bathroom, just a good price point quality match. And then to just finish off to the KitchenAid dishwasher. And I love these quartz countertops, like no maintenance. They're 55 bucks a square foot installed. If you wanted to do like even more on budget, you could have gone a plain color or done butcher block. So we're in the living room now, which is an open space between the kitchen and the seating area. And what I loved about this room was 14 foot ceilings, exposed beams, got the shiplap detail. The house is only 1,080 square feet, so it's not massive, but when it's well laid out and thoughtful, it's totally enough. And it's a great roommate house because you have separate ends um, of the house, you have your own privacy, but then you have the shared communal space in the middle to have friends over. Uh, for the HVAC system, I went with a carrier mini ductless split, and that gave me three independent zones in the house, and they can either be on and off, and that's just gonna help on the heating and cooling bills. Another cool thing about them is just the overall high sear rating that's uh, just way more efficient than a traditional forced air. For the washer and dryer, we went the stackable set from Whirlpool. And the neatest feature about the washer is that it has the fan fresh option. So if you have to leave the house, it'll actually spin and lightly dry the clothes while you're away. And that's just a, a cool detail. For the water heater, this is from State uh, that I also picked up from Ferguson and it has a neat digital control panel that you can change the temperature or you can also set it to vacation mode or energy saver mode. So just that accessibility to adjust the temperature to save money is why I chose that. This is the master bedroom. And what I loved about this space was the opportunity to put in these giant oversized uh, glass windows just to bring in a ton of natural light, have the oversized sliding glass door that goes right onto the deck. Other little details that have been great about this space are the pocket doors. Um, just because since the house isn't massive, this just takes up less resources of the space you live in. So for the bathroom, I chose to do the hex tile on the floor, the subway tiles on the walls, and the idea was just to make selections that would be timeless and would age well. And in five, six years, you know, the thought is hopefully I'll still love them. Thanks for coming on the tour, y'all. And uh, I just want to say thank you for following along the build process this past year on the internet. Um, and I just want to encourage you to say that it's totally possible to build your own space, do it affordably, 
And often like I have done it actually under budget for what the market is. Um, if you have the patience and determination, it's totally possible to make it happen.